Good evening and welcome to the virtual college exploration for all West Virginia students sponsored by the West Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen to type in your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of the many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at wvacrao.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website, wvacrao.org. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenters. Good evening, everyone. My name is Michael Cork, and I'm with Salem University. I'm an admissions advisor there. And it is, I'm very excited to be presenting for you all today. So basically what we're gonna be doing is just discussing some of the things that make Salem unique and why maybe you should consider the, consider it to be the school of your choice. Um, Salem has been around since 1888. We are located in Salem, West Virginia in Harrison County. And uh, I think that if you give us an opportunity, you will see that we have a lot to offer uh, the students in West Virginia. So let's go and get started. Well, like I mentioned, we were established in 1888. Our physical campus is here in Salem. We offer over 55 degree programs, most of which can be taken 100% online. It can be taken blended, where you can take partially online or some on campus or completely on campus. Uh, one of the things that sets us apart from other universities in the area is that you actually only take one class at a time. Each class only lasts four weeks in duration. So what this allows for is for you to take to focus on one subject, but you still take full-time hours per semester. It also allows you to take the program year round instead of taking summers off and so that you can actually graduate at a much earlier rate than you could at most universities. Uh, you can complete a full uh, degree program in as little as 3.3 years with the way our layout is. is. <clears throat> We are accredited by the Higher Learning Commission, which is a regional accreditation. It's one of the, the, the highest in the, in the area. We also have several programs that are accredited either nationally or globally through some other, as you can see below. <clears throat> I mentioned earlier that you could take our programs 100% online on campus or blended. You do, you, like I mentioned, you do take one class at a time and each class normally lasts four weeks in duration. We offer associate's degrees in biology, business administration, computer science, criminal justice, information technology, and nursing. We offer bachelor's degrees in business administration, and we have 11 specializations you can choose from in that field. Uh, we offer criminal, criminal justice, which has five specializations. Education has five specializations as well. Uh, information technology, computer science, biology, and of course you can actually pursue your bachelor's in, in nursing once you've completed your associate's degree. You must have your nursing license to be able to complete that degree. I'm gonna pause a second and talk about our programs and how they're laid out so that, because this is very key uh, for not only your success as a student, but also if you decide to do one of these programs and you decide to change fields in the future. Let's say for example, you choose to go into business administration and you choose to take uh, that specialization in human resources management. All of the core classes of those programs are the same no matter which specialization you choose. The only difference is, is five classes that specify to that, to that particular specialization. So if you're in working in human resources and you decide one day, you know, I'd rather be an accountant or I'd like to work in uh, sports and recreation management, you can actually come back to our university take five additional classes and earn a totally separate degree in that field. So it's not just a major, it's actually a completely separate degree. Um, you can do that with any of our special, with any of our majors as well. You can do it with, uh, so. We also offer master's degrees in business administration, criminal justice, education, and nursing. Again, those are built the exact same way. You can complete one in a completely different specialization, take three more classes and have a totally additional degree in that other field. It makes it very 
easy for you to be able to not only switch professions, but also make you more desirable for employers because you actually have a degree in multiple fields. Uh, the nice thing about our master's degrees also is typically you can earn one in between 10 and 12 months, depending upon which program you choose. Uh, so if you complete the bachelor's degree in 3.3 years, like I mentioned earlier, you could actually come back, continue on, and complete your master's degree in the exact same amount of time it would take you to complete a bachelor, or just a bachelor's degree at most universities. So some of the benefits of being a Salem student, we have over 100 years of experience developing our programs uh, and growing shifting workforce. Uh, we're very student centered. You can come in at any point. We have open door policies with every one of our departments, with every one of our deans, with basically everyone in the, in the university. So if you're having an issue or you have a question or you just need some guidance, you can literally walk into one of those offices and just talk to the person you're looking for. You don't, there's no need for an appointment. There's no need for booking things out months in advance. We're very, we're very, uh, low key and, and very available to our students anytime. Um, we do, we are in division two of the NCAA and we offer several sports uh, for students who are interested in that. Uh, we also accept uh, transfer credits from most universities. They have, to, obviously they have to be evaluated and uh, part of CHIA. Uh, I will go over this again. We, of course, we offer the one class per month and then if you have an on-ground class, this is a nice thing too. All your classes are always the exact same time. So your classes are Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to noon. That always gives you your afternoons free. You're always off on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. And you always know way ahead of time exactly when your classes are going to be. You don't have any schedules that are sporadic throughout the day. Uh, our typical student-to-faculty uh, ratio is about 14 students to one professor, which is very good. Uh, some of the student services we offer, we actually offer Life Matter Student Counseling. So that is a counseling service that's free to our students. And it's there to help them for a number of reasons. You know, students have a variety of issues when they're away from home for the first time. So we always keep that available to you. Um, we also offer a care package program, which parents or family members can order you all packages and send it directly to your dorms here at the school. We have an online tutor program for most of our subjects through tutor.com. We offer a virtual library as well as an actual physical library on campus. So if you happen to be home for the weekend or doing whatever, you still actually have access to that library no matter where you are at that time. And we also offer a writing center, which is actually a, a program where you can actually talk to someone who's kind of an expert in that field. You can submit papers or parts of papers to them and they can actually help you proofread it, grade it, uh, suggest uh, ways to make it better. Our student life is very active. Uh, we have a Dean of Students here who actually keeps a lot of different student organizations available to students at all times. And he's always willing to add more if students are actually looking for something in particular. Um, we have uh, many ways to enjoy the college experience. We have activities including bingo, late night snacks, tailgating, casino nights. We have giant Jenga that goes out in the main area out front. We do all kinds of things to uh, just, you know, to give you something to do in your downtime. Of course, we have the normal special events that most colleges do. We have homecoming, family weekends. We often induct people into our Hall of Fame, and we also have spring fling in the spring. Uh, we have a very diverse student body. We have students here from all 50 states in the US and from over 25 different countries in the world. Some of the athletics we offer for the NCAA is basketball, baseball, co cross country, soccer, softball, swimming, tennis, track and field, and water polo. Of course, financial aid is available to those who qualify. We always assign you an individual financial aid representative that will work directly with you. Below there, you'll see our school code for to, to insert in the FAFSA. Uh, we are always uh, able to help you apply for federal financial aid and different things of that matter. If you have any questions with that, feel free to call in. We're always glad to get you in contact with one of the financial aid reps to help you with that program. So how do you get started? It's very simple. You give us a call here. The numbers are on your screen there. You can, you can also go to our website at salemu.edu. You can fill out a, an application there. Um, you can also um, 
call if you have any questions with anything you might need. The, um, we do not require the ACT or SAT for admittance into our university. We, you know, the requirement is just that you actually be a high school graduate or have a GED. Uh, just let us know if you have any questions. We're always here to help. We're very local. We have local staff here. All of us believe heavily in higher education and furthering your education to help you with your career and your life. Uh, thank you so much for your time and I'm more than willing to answer any questions you may have. All right, Michael, it doesn't look like we have any questions. So we appreciate you joining us this evening and providing that information to us for Salem University. Um, if any students do happen to have any questions regarding Salem, please uh, feel, re feel free to reach out to Michael or Iris and they'd be happy to answer qu any questions that you have. Uh, so for students here, we'd like to thank you for joining us. Um, when you do close this window, there is going to be uh, a, a link to a very quick four question survey. Any feedback that you could provide will be appreciated. Um, again, this is just one of the many sessions, sessions that are being hosted. So be sure to sign up for any additional sessions at wvacrao.org. In about a week, again, you'll be able to find this session's recording in case you need to go back and uh, find any questions and answers that you have. Um, and again, that's going to be at wvacrao.org. I'd like to thank you for your time this evening and have a good evening.